We want to return now to our top story, a tragic end to the search for a missing submersible near the wreck of the Titanic. The U.S. Coast Guard saying debris from the Titan has been located, signaling that it suffered what they call a catastrophic implosion, killing all five people on board. Joining me now is Guillermo Soline, co-founder of Ocean Gate Expeditions. Good morning. Thank you for being with us this morning. I should point out that you left Ocean Gate some time ago. Um, can you tell us, first of all, your reaction um, to this tragic incident and your thoughts on those who died? Yeah, I first found out uh, that they'd lost communications with the sub on Monday afternoon, my time. I'm currently in Barcelona. And uh, the first 24 hours were obviously disbelief and, and shock. Uh, now I've had three days to, to prepare for uh, one of the outcomes, and that was the conf press conference yesterday. Um, and it was really, it's been really difficult for me. Uh, and I just can't imagine what it must have been like for, uh, for the families of the five crew members or even for the Ocean Gate team that was on site uh, this whole time trying to find and uh, rescue the, their team members. Do you take any comfort in the fact that a lot of the experts are saying that the five on board likely had no idea what happened? It happened instantaneously. Yeah, those of us that work in the deep ocean exploration community, we know the risks associated with doing this. And obviously one of them is the, um, the risk of uh, a catastrophic implosion at depth. Uh, and we've always talked about the fact that in some uh, weird paradoxical way, uh, that might actually be the best way to go because an implosion at that depth probably would happen at almost supersonic speeds, if not more than that. And you would probably be dead before your brain could even process that anything was wrong. Ocean Gate is under a lot of scrutiny right now for how safely that company operates. Did you have safety concerns? Is that why you left Ocean Gate? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, I know from the time Stockton and I co-founded the company in August of 2009 until I left in January 2013, um, we operated as, as safely as, as possible, and we had a very uh, safety-conscious culture. Uh, I left in January 2013 because it was the right time in the development of the company uh, for me to turn over the company to Stockton. Uh, we were just entering the development of Cyclops, the predecessor sub to Titan. Uh, we were entering a very engineering-heavy phase, and that was Stockton's expertise, not mine. And so it just made sense for him to take over the company at that point. There are growing calls and they will likely get louder for more regulation around this industry. Do you agree? That's really not my purview. It's, it's really, uh, I'll leave that to, to policymakers and, and folks uh, who deal with these kinds of things. I do know that every deep ocean exploration operator, uh, including OceanGate. Uh, again, it's very aware of the risks involved in this kind of operation. And all of us take safety very seriously, uh, regardless of what the regulations are. We really push ourselves to, to do this as safely as possible. And after all, we're also getting in the subs. Uh, I think one thing that need, we need to keep in mind is that Stockton was also in the sub. Uh, that he designed uh, when it perished uh, earlier this week. Can you give us some insight into Stockton and, and his mentality and also other risk takers uh, and this draw that they have to the Titanic and to be able to view that wreckage uh, through their own eyes? What is it that, that got Stockton so passionate about this, this downed ship wreckage? Well, first of all, Stockton was one of the most intelligent people I've ever met. He was a very diligent engineer. Uh, he was not a risk taker at all. In fact, I'd say he was risk averse. Um, really? He was, just very, he was very good at risk management. And I think anybody who does exploration, whether it's space, oceans, high altitudes, they'll tell you the same thing. They are not risk takers. They're risk managers. 
uh, in large part because they're keenly aware of the dangers of operating in such extreme environments. Uh, and the passion that Stockton had wasn't necessarily for Titanic. It was for exploring the oceans and opening up the oceans for all of humanity so that we could learn more about the ocean and ultimately preserve it. How do you think uh, things, Guillermo, should move forward in terms of the investigation now? Um, it's unlikely that the, the remains of, of any of those five will be found. Um, what would you like to see happen next? Actually, what I would like to see happen next is would be starting now, which is to have all of us, you know, kind of stop speculating as to what happened. Um, all of us want answers. I'm sure even Stockton's family wants answers. And uh, right now is is kind of a, a time to mourn the loss of these five explorers. Uh, there's going to be days, weeks, months to collect data and sift through everything and go through an investigation. Hopefully, at the end of that, we'll have some answers. Uh, because recovering any sort of information from from the ocean floor at that depth is going to be extremely difficult. So hopefully we'll have some information and then OceanGate and the rest of the uh, ocean exploration community can can take some lessons learned from that and, and go forward. Guillermo Solin, thank you so much. Glad you could join us this morning and our condolences for the loss of your friend. Thank you for having me.